Well, Paige, new tonight, NAACP members calling for change after video showed a 13-year-old 7th grade student being racially bullied on a Lavaca school bus. 4029's Brett Rains live tonight with how the organization is offering to help and why the girl is no longer a Lavaca student. Well, the NAACP, NAACP president here in Sebastian says what happened to Alyssa Shaw can be a teachable moment. Now, her mother agrees, but says what's best for her daughter is to transfer out of Lavaca. I, I hate this ever happened to her, but it did. And I'm proud of how she is handling it and how we're moving forward. <laughs> Kids chanting Rosa Parks, BLM, laughing and cheering, all directed at 13-year-old Alyssa Shaw. That's her on the Lavaca school bus, filled with her seventh grade classmates two weeks ago. There was nothing you could have done. You couldn't even hear your own voice. I didn't think it was funny at all because it was like deliberate disrespect and then they tried to cover it up as a joke. It was definitely um, difficult to watch, to see um, a student to basically be um, alone and not have anyone to speak out. Olin James is the president of the Sebastian County unit of the NAACP. He's urging Lavaca schools to provide diversity and equity training to all students and staff. James says the NAACP can help by providing experts that are willing to go to the schools and teach about diversity issues. If you're old enough to understand the concept of bullying, um, we think that you're, uh, you're old enough to, uh, to be taught uh, a different approach. I do not believe this reflects upon the entire community, not at all. A lot of ignorance plays into this because they're not such a diverse community, so how do they know? And if more awareness was brought and, like you said, training, education, education is powerful. Becky Burris says her daughter is now going to school in Fort Smith. Last week, a letter sent to Burris by the middle school principal said behaviors and actions by certain students constituted bullying and they would be held accountable. Burris says since then, school administrators told her the students involved were disciplined, but that's it. Because I don't know what students were punished or not punished and what their punishments were, it concerned me that she might be cornered or picked on again. What about the next Miss Shaw who doesn't have an opportunity to transfer to another school district? We have to make sure that it's better for that student. Her innocence has been stolen and she can forgive as much as she wants, but she's always going to remember this. And the superintendent tells me that the district is planning on working with the NAACP as well as the Department of Education Equity Division to see what programs they can implement here. Live in Lavaca, Brett Rains, 4029 News.